Hello and welcome to my workshop. My name is Paul. I'm a luthier and grow maker based in Tasmania, Australia. In this series, I will share some of the projects I work on each week, giving you a glimpse over my shoulder as I work as though you were looking through the window into my workshop. So here we have a uh, cello that's come in. This is a school instrument. It's not an instrument of great value, but it's got a fair bit of damage to the top. So you've got quite a crack down the top plate. That extends, and that crack extends into the ribs and the bottom block is also totally away down here but being a school cello the idea here is to get it back going again uh, as economically as possible while still trying to do uh, uh, a good job um, so that the the, some of the techniques we're going to use here are not uh, the sorts of things you do to a, a really high quality cello or high quality instrument. Um, we're not going to use obviously cheap glues or anything like that. We're not going to use PVA glues. Um, we're going to use the correct correct glues and, and, and things. But um, you need to understand we are looking to work quickly um, and uh, and sort of just get sort of get it get it get it done in a, a reasonable time. Um, it's it's the sort of job that, that that is getting done. Hopefully, the instrument will go back into into full use, or it'll just be used as a spare cello, um, if necessary. But uh, I thought it, it may be of interest, um, so we'll we'll roll through with it, and I'll show you the process as we go. So first up will be to remove the strings, the pegs, and the, and and those parts. Um, we'll look to get the top plate off um, so we'll take the top off and then we'll look at uh, gluing up that, that crack in the, in the top and getting the the, uh, the, the ribs and the, and the bottom block we get the bottom block glued on first and then we'll look to re-glue the ribs back the crack in the ribs back to the, to the bottom block um, get the, the crack in the top plate glued up reinforced probably with some uh, some linen on the inside and uh, then we'll uh, get the top back on and get it strung up and, and going again Okay, so I'll have a closer look at some of the damage to the top. Uh, it was a little tricky to get off that, but it wasn't too bad. Um, we did have a piece left behind here, so we'll have to lift that off and, and glue it back onto the top. That was the main few smaller bits that have been left behind. Uh, but overall, top block came off reasonably cleanly. Maybe a couple of small pieces there. Uh, there's a couple of um, bits of the liner that have just come away a little bit, but most of the corners come off. We didn't lose a corner or, or anything. Um, we take there's a fair bit of care taken around the corners so that you don't lose corners. And coming back to this to this bottom block, the block itself is actually cracked. Generally, on a on a cello of any substance, you'd immediately look at replacing that bottom block. But on this instrument, we're not going to go that far, so I'll we'll glue that, that bottom block up. The crack doesn't actually extend all the way down. It comes down to about halfway. Um, so if we get some glue in there, pull that back together. This crack here, that'll... that'll come back in and, and glue up okay um, and the 
bottom block itself is also away from the bottom so a little bit of the first thing we'll look to do is, is to glue the uh, bottom block back down to the to the to the back and uh, not using um, wood glue use proper hide glue <laughs> and then you've got this, this great crack here that we need to look at gluing up and normally uh, a crack like this on, a, on, a, on, a, on an instrument you would then look to put little wooden cleats on it to hold it in place on this one we're just going to put some um, either Japanese paper or, uh, or linen on it soak it in glue and that'll, that'll help support and strengthen it um, again, just because it's a, a it's a school cello, it it's, needs to be done sort of on a budget. So we'll run some glue down the crack and um, get it glued up. on that. Very quick. One underneath.
fahren. Hier. Okay, so this is a crack in the ribs here. All that we need for that one is a piece of um, plastic over it and some pegs. We'll pull that in and hold that together nicely. Nothing too uh, highly technical.
just simple as that. So it's also come to my attention that this neck is loose in the block. So I need to work some glue into that and uh, clamp it up. Working some glue in from above. I don't want to take the neck right out of it. Try and get some glue down the sides here as well. Don't have too long to work that, but you can see it squishing in and out there, so you should be able to get just try and run a little bit more in there. Oh. excess as possible. Splat it to the inside as well. And this one won't apply won't require too much clamping pressure. Should just be able Up. And now we'll let that uh, let that dry, the and uh, do the next little bit down the bottom on the bottom block where there's still a few. Um, have a look down here, and um, we've still got this to glue up. We've still got a crack here. And there's still actually a couple of the, the, the bottom seams of the ribs here need, need gluing. So we'll work on those uh, tomorrow.